Hey guys, if you like listening to podcasts, I have a podcast. There is a link in the description to my Patreon page and I do a podcast every week talking about this kind of bodybuilding stuff that you guys are so interested in and behind the scenes stuff. Like when rats eat my truck again and stuff like that. Mountain. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Galant Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about exercise intensity versus volume. Now, sometimes you're going to notice that you need... Now, sometimes a common problem or issue with anybody trying to achieve anything is that we automatically think if we put more effort out, meaning more work volume, that automatically equates to more results. But with all things, there is a point of diminishing return. And I talked to you guys about this in a video a little while ago about how to adjust your volume or to gauge, generally speaking, how much volume you should be doing per workout. So if you haven't seen that, take a look at it. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about when you know you might be doing a bit too much volume and you're trading your intensity in order to accomplish it. Now, something that I do from time to time is I will experiment with higher amounts of volume. I'll do like more sets per workout. So say I'll do high volume training or German volume training for a bit, and I'll try to do a lot more sets for a body part just to throw a different monkey wrench into the whole thing, right? To get the body to adapt in a different way. But like I've said over and over again, it is important for you to remember that bodybuilding is not an endurance sport. It is an anaerobic sport and your goal should always be to be able to do more repetitions or more weight with more repetitions in the same set. It's not about what you can do over the long haul. That's not really what we're trying to accomplish here. We're not trying to accomplish a marathon. We're trying to say, how do I get the body really strong or having a lot of strength endurance in one set? That's really the goal, right? The, the first set that you do in a workout is usually where you're going to have the most amount of reps, or be able to use the most amount of weight. Barring warm-up sets, of course. You always want to do the warm-up sets first. But of course, those sets aren't taken to failure. They're just glorified, easy sort of ways just to heat up the area, warm it up, and get the muscles acclimated to what is to come. But your first work set, you should be able to get the most amount of reps and accomplish the most amount of strength and, and so forth, or lift the most amount of weight. And one thing I've found, from time to time at least, is that it is beneficial to bring down the amount of sets you do for a body part and just concentrate on going to as deep a failure as you can during that set. I'm not saying you have to do big giant sets or strip sets or any of that kind of stuff, but at least with that exercise, taking your set as deep into failure as you can. Because sometimes you may notice that when you're doing higher amounts of volume, that there's a lot of sets that you get a little bit more lazy in. You're not necessarily able to maintain that type of intensity of achieving absolute failure, at least with certain body parts, as you could if you just said, hey, I'm just gonna concentrate for a couple sets or three sets and that's it. I'm just gonna go balls out and, and do this set as hard as possible, right? And also what I found is that there's a certain set threshold to establish an adaptation in the body. And, and if the sets are intense enough, you don't have to do a ton of sets. And I found about three sets is about the threshold where my body sits, where if I do an exercise and I do it intensely enough, all I need is about three sets to establish a very positive effect. So I'm obviously saying that these sets are taken as deep into failure as I can go, but at the same time, I notice that if I do a lot more than that, like five, six, seven sets, I start to have diminishing amounts of effort or the ability to maintain the same intensity, and then it starts to become a little bit more endurancey. okay?
So what I do in order to keep myself honest as far as the intensity levels is that I will do a workout from time to time or maybe I'll do an entire week or two or a month or whatever of lowering the sets down and making sure that I'm accomplishing the intensity first and foremost and secondarily the volume. Because although I don't agree with Mike Menser as far as doing one set every 10 days or, or whatever it is he's prescribing, I do agree with the intensity level because if you're intense enough in a certain given body part, it will be forced to adapt. So yeah, if you're doing a lot of volume or in, and you've kind of been on the path of perpetual increasing of volume, you might have been caught up in just doing more because you think more is better, but it's not. Actually, it'll start to work against you because you start to just create more cortisol. You start beating a dead horse, so to speak and you're not necessarily causing the body to adapt anaerobically, you're causing the body to adapt to an endurance sort of situation, right? So sometimes it might work against you where you actually lose muscle if you're doing too much volume. So I say return back to the minimum requirement of sets that is necessary in order for you to get an adaptation and the intensity is going to be the most important factor in that. You know, how intense can you be? So of course, always do your warm-up sets, of course, always use your strategic range of motion or whatever feels right for your body. But in the end, you want to try to up that intensity in order to get the most adaptation out of the body. Mountain. So yeah, I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgallantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Mountain. Mountain.